Okay, so what I wanted to do in today's video was do one basically of these rate meters where in the UK, I think these are old MOD stock, I don't know where they used them, but they're essentially Geiger counters, and Geiger counters in the real sense of the word because they actually just count per second um, radioactive decays that enter the probe. Now, the issue of rate meters is they uh, come with a really obsolete type of connector. So it's one of these. Um, I believe these are called PET connectors, but it's actually really hard to find out info on them. They're the same things the old mini monitors use. Now, the problem is, if you've got something that connects to those, good and fine. The problem is most, uh, you know, like, types of probes do not use this connection anymore. So you can either crock clip something on, which is fine, I guess, but if you wanted a proper probe assembly, I was thinking of a way to do it. And because I've got quite a few of these rate meters, because I think there's still loads really cheap on eBay, but as I said, I think a lot hit the surplus market at one point, and they were going for like less than £20 each, I bought a lot. And I thought, because they don't seem particularly rare or, you know, valuable, what I do with one of them is actually modify it to have a modern connector on. So, if you dismantle it all, which I wouldn't do in this video, because I spent about an hour or so doing this last night, basically if you take this all apart, what you can do is dismantle this connector. How this sits on is this is the bit that would be pushed through, then it's got another ring inside securing this in place. Um, oh, I've still got that on there, look. So, um, yeah, how this works is this is essentially just clamped onto the case like that with this connector. But what I've done is got the uh, GM tube sort of anode and cathode there. Now, the primary one, the uh, positive is this one here, the negative is this one here. I don't know how well that's going to see in the video, but I won't show you soldering it on the video, but what I'm going to do is solder it. And how I'm going to solder it is I thought what would be a really good idea for a connector, because I've got a few of these like mobile phone type 3.5mm jacks, is stick one of these on. So that will be the positive, and then, you know, soldering a bit onto that bit will be the negative. And how I'll do it, essentially, so this will just be soldered on, and then it should be able to just push back into, um, you know, the case like that, essentially, when it's on there with the wire. Um, and then what it should allow me to do is actually use one with things like this and I want to actually test the scintillator function on these because you can use them with scintillators um, and the only scintillator I've got is li the little mobile phone style one like this one so what I'll do is if this all works I'll test it on a video but if you were, did see these rate meters cheap they are worth getting because you can pretty much crock clip any GM tube on it and then just set the voltage or scintillator probe but I wanted to see if I can configure one so it's just really easy to use with little probes so I'll stop the video now, I'll do a bit of soldering, and then we'll come back if it all works. Right, hopefully this should have worked. So if I just zoom that in a bit, as you can see, I've welded, well not welded, soldered um, one bit to one bit and one bit to the other. So assuming it's not going to short circuit, let's have a go at putting this in there. So actually how this is soldered on might make that a bit of a challenge, but let's just have a look. It does just about fit, so what I'd have to do is just electrical tape this in there like that um, a bit later on, but that's not a big deal. But if I just get this back out again without, um, like I said, breaking any of the solders off, because obviously it's not the most thorough solder in the world, I can just do it like that. So let's first try it with the Geiger Muller tube. So we'll plug that in there, and this is just one of those little phone Geigers. Um, we'll turn this on, go to BAT test, battery test is fine, go to EHT, this is set electric high tension. Let's set this to 300 volts to start with, because I imagine this runs at quite a low voltage. Let's go to GM. Right, that's short circuiting at the moment, which isn't a good sign. Uh, let's just try it on synth mode, as in scintillator. That's working alright. So... Why is this causing a problem? So let's go back to GM. Right, that's not short circuiting as this, so it means I've not screwed up the solder on that. Maybe it just doesn't like this probe. Well, that was a good sound, wasn't it? Let's just lower the EHT on that. That's interesting, it's short circuiting even with that not, um, you know, with any uh, stuff on it. But let's get the scintillator on and try that. So this should be a scintillator. Put this into synth mode, which is scintillator. And oh, it's got a reading there. I don't know what the EHT should be for this scintillator. I'll turn it up ever so slightly, because I doubt the EHT should be zero. Yeah, so there's that. So assuming that's not um, going to zero, there we go. So, right. Let's uh, give this a test, if we can. So... 
yeah, adjusting the HT doesn't seem to affect the scintillator at all. So that's showing zero, but that shouldn't be actually at zero, because obviously uh, it should never be... Ah, I wonder if this isn't meant to plug directly in. That sounds more like it, doesn't it? Right. Is that it? So obviously this, this is a completely trial and error video, as you might have guessed, but... In theory, the logic is sound, as long as you don't make a short circuit on the rate meter. Alright, that's because of the electric connection there, but... Let me just get the Geiger Muller tube one again, and put this in, not fully, but... Right, let's try it like that. Now, is that in enough that it actually reads it as being there? As said, this is a total trial and error video, so if this doesn't work, the title of the video will be like, failed attempt at um, retrofitting a rate meter. But, um, in a second I'll need to get a check source to actually see if this is working or not, but... And what I'm just very curious about is just this whole, um... Because in theory it should work alright like this. Now weirdly look, on the scintillate function, this does seem to um, sort of work look. So it might just be have to run it on the scintillator function for these, I don't know, but... Like I said, I have to get a check source, but I know that's actually a connection thing, isn't it, when it's doing that. Let me just try shoving this back in here again. Ah, uh, my solder's broke. Right, that's annoying. Um, well, I'll tell you what, for the rest of this video, let me just do some croc clipping. And we'll see if we can do it via croc clipping. If not, um, you know. But I think the logic of this should work, but I think this is probably just a short circuit problem at the moment. So let's get that off of there. And then what I want to essentially do then is, um, I don't want to obviously touch those wires because they're going to be live, but try and separate the wires enough that it will be a proper, um, you know, thing, and then um, just see if I can get this to run. But in theory, I don't know if I can just do that or is that going to um, short circuit it, but... I reckon that's sort of working like that. Let's just try up the scintillator. Obviously, some of that is a short circuit, it's not radiation making it jump like that, but... Yeah, this is interesting, because it appears like this should actually work, but... See, that looks like it's working like a proper Geiger counter function, except when it short circuits or a scintillator function. So let me go get a check source, and then we'll see if it responds to the check source. Because if it responds to the check source, it means this will work. It will just require a much more delicate job of soldering and all that. But in theory, there should be nothing stopping you doing stuff like this, because, as I said, you can crop clip stuff to these connectors, and they work absolutely fine. You know, having the positive in the middle, and then... Um, you have a bit around the outside, because essentially 
The negative is the outside metal casing of these. The little bit inside the white bit, the little wire inside there, is the um, positive. So yeah, let me just go get a check source, we'll get a thorium lamp mantle as the police, you know, came round to talk about those, and um, we'll see if it works. Alright, now we go, a humble thorium lamp mantle, this one's in plastic wrap, so obviously no need for gloves or anything to uh, handle it. So, let's put this back to Sint. The HT will set to about 300 volts, I have no idea what they're meant to run at for these little probes. And let's have a go. Now that's a bit irritating. What I'll do then quickly is do another job of soldering and then we'll give it one more attempt using this. Because I'd quite like this to work obviously in all honesty because this would make it really handy but whether it does or not I don't know. Okay so I've just crop clipped on for now because the soldering wasn't going very well. This connector, hopefully it's not going to cause a problem. So let's stick the GM tube on there. Okay go to EHT. Yeah, it's about 300 volts still. Right, go to GM. Right, it's still doing that. Let's just try Sint. Right. Let's see if this will count. No activity there. Right, we look like we've got some activity here, so let's just turn the voltage down. Let's try the scintillator. Right. Hopefully this is still in frame, but... Right, what I will quickly try is just re reversing the polarity on these clips here in case for whatever reason um, this headphone jack thing uses reverse uh, type things. So let's put the positive on this one. There we go. Let's put the negative here on this one. Try and get it so the cables don't collide. It's easier said than done. Right, so let's try <coughs> this now, if I can keep these away from each other, the crop clips. Ah, sadly I don't think this is going to work. Now, I don't actually really know why at all, because, um... Unless it's just these 3.5mm GM tubes and scintillators only work on mobile phones with some sort of software stuff. Uh, in theory, I'd have thought the science of this would have been fine, but... Why this is not wanting to work, I don't know. Because obviously, yeah, it shouldn't be doing that.
Yeah, so I'm afraid this is a bit of um, a wasted video. So, in theory, I think the science is there, I just don't know why this works. So, um, yeah, if you've got one of these old rate meters, you should be able to solder on a new connector, but I just don't know why this isn't working. Um, but what I'll probably end up just doing with this one is just basically attaching a regular GM tube. But tell you what, what I'll do before I end this video, just so it might end on a positive note, let me get a little GM tube, I'll crop clip that onto the two wires there, and I will see if that actually at least works. You know, unlike these 3.5mm ones. Maybe this rate meter's just gone. I don't know, but... Shouldn't think so, but... You know, let's have a quick play on that before we end the video. Right, here goes nothing. Let's hope this video ends well. So, we will get a S Soviet SBM20 Geiger tube. Put the positive on there. No, doesn't want to bloody stay on. Okay, put the positive on here. There we go. Put the negative on here. There we go. Right, and then we will put the positive here on here, put the negative here. Right, and let's see if we can get any joy out of this one, because in theory this should all be fine. Let me just get that crop clip. Yeah, there we go. Let's stop the things connecting. So, let's go to EHT. Oh. Yeah, there we go. This works. So, yeah. Maybe it just does not like the 3.5mm jack or something. But yeah, see, that's working fine. Uh, if I had enough voltage going to the tube. Um, with the Soviet thing on the thorium lamp mantle. But yeah. Bizarre. So maybe it just does not like the millimetre jack. Um, yeah, I can still use this as a test bed. What I might do is see if I can solder some crop clips or something properly on here, just to make it easier to use as a test bed for tubes. But Or just solder a small GM tube onto this one and keep it as is. But, but in theory, you wouldn't even need to have taken that original thing off there to have done that. Um, or where my mini monitor connector's broken, I might just uh, solder the mini monitor on actually, but yeah, I'll probably do that. But yeah, so that's an interesting thing. This video didn't go as intended. You know, I was really hoping I could have used that scintillator probe on here. But um, what I'll do quickly before I end the video, just turn it off and hopefully I don't get an electric shock, is get this off. Then what I'll just do is with this scintillator one, I assume with a 3.5 that this is the positive bit there and then the negative is the uh, bit higher up I would assume with a jack because they connect in different places so I assume it's like that. Let's just try this. Unless it's the... Um... Ah. Is that working now? Or is that just it short circuiting? All of these jacks, is it the other side of the thing? Now that's definitely a short circuit there. Yeah, that's a bit annoying with these 3.5mm, because I was hoping it would be a simple case of just, um... Unless that's actually... Maybe that positive is too far, um... Along. Let's just try that right on the tip. Okay, is that doing anything now? Or is that just not making a connection? The GM's still doing that, but, um... more like it. Is it working now? I don't actually know. It's almost like when my hand gets close to it, it starts working. Hmm. 
Yeah, I'm I'm really confused by this. Why um that seems to work or not work. Unless it's a voltage thing now of the scintillator, but Yeah, it's very bizarre, isn't it? Well, I'm afraid I can't answer you there. Maybe somebody is an electrician or into electronics will watch this video and answer that. But yeah, it does at least work as we know with crop clipping stuff on. Um, so yeah, what I'd say maybe is if you can't get this to work with jacks properly, um, but again, you probably more want to do this hobby if you're more into electronic stuff, would be simply to, um, I say crop clip a Soviet tube on, and then maybe solder the Soviet tube on somehow. But you probably don't need to take the original thing off. So yeah, this is a kind of partially failed video, partially working video. We learnt with these rate meters that, like we already knew, you can just crop clip old Soviet tubes onto them and they work fine. But I'm a bit annoyed with that because I was hoping, you know, the logic of that would work sound. That you'd have the anode and the cathode essentially on there and then you could just plug in the little 3.5mm ones and they'd work. But sadly it doesn't seem they do. But yeah, at least the Soviet tubes still work, so I guess there's that. So what I'll do with this one, I won't do it in this video, but I'll um, end up re-soldering on one of the wires and we'll just leave it at that. But thanks for watching anyway.